everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Last episode, after I protected the River Ram Village from those invaders, I went back to the Plane Song and, well, before I was about to get permission to go enter that cave, the Plane Song was getting invaded by the evil humans and the machines and, well, I, Aloy and her friends managed to get past them and they eventually enter the cave. Well, they were supposed to go look for that machine called Far, because Far went inside the cave and hasn't came back out. So, I had to do a lot of climbing and I wonder how far I'm, I am in the cauldron cave or whatever, but I wonder what's gonna happen next once I get to the center of the repair core. Um, Pretty sure I'm going to fight the machines before I could override the core, so what's going to happen next? Let's go play. Okay, let's keep on going. And then his specialists got corrupted and it was making a lot of mis deadly machines. Just like it happened in the Frozen Wilds story in the last game. <gasps> Wait. Oh, okay. I thought there was a machine ahead of me, so... Let's just keep on moving on. Is that far? What has Hephaestus done to her? Turned into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. My people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Yeah, we're not gonna have any choice but to destroy it. Are you ready? We have to get down there. Wait, is there no machines nearby? Nope. Yeah, there's a node. And once I activate it, how much you in a bit I'm gonna get attacked by that machine up there? Well, get ready. Okay, what's the weakness? Aw, oh, man. Ah, come on. Ah, I missed. Ah, come on. If I can detach them, I can use them against us. Ah, come on. Ah, uh, only got two left. I 
have enough. Should be ready. Ah, no. Move back, move back. Okay, I should put a trap here. Ow! And you won my trap. Thanks a lot. Out. I can't go save them at the moment. Come over here. Okay, now I still need to take care of the rest of them. Ah. 
Okay, finish it. for a god or a machine but because I no longer know what to believe look so if you want you can go back home do I still have one and if so for how long can you really heal our lands save my people Okay, time to override the cauldron. What happened? Did you do it? She did it. Not bad. Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Machine boss of the cauldron. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? Let's find out. That's new. Oh, cool. Yeah. When you override the cauldron core, it gives you a new ability that you could override the machine that you haven't been able to override before. So once I override this core, I could, I could dumb, I could control the machine that looks like they try cell tops. Looks like Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Yes. Let's press on then. All right then. Let's get out of here. Greetings, graduates of Crater Mine. Welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Huh, I guess there's only more I have to go explore, so I wonder what's in the facility. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. Hmm. Nothing. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiate your facility lockdown. Stay out. Oh no, what's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Oh, well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. 
Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Ah, uh, see. Maybe I could break it open. There you go. the facility systems yeah and I could barely see anything because this whole room is all red Oh, much better. Looks like another part of the facility. Door is locked. Hmm, great. Now what? Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back. See what else I can find. Yeah, turn back and then. Wait, what's this? Yeah, I should turn back and try to figure out what else I should do. What are all those cables in the center for? My nerve is shutting me out. Ah. Now what? This is the only door I could go to. Hmm. Looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising. I can find a way up there. Looks like this might be where data is stored, but I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking. Guess I'm not going that way. Yeah, and I can't even break the door. something that I'm missing. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, I guess I have to go back in. Trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I didn't see it up there. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? Yeah, good question. Why do they want that guy up back up? 
And where are those people came from anyway? Let's see, do I glide over there? Plug into this place. Yeah, before, let me just grab these. Looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Okay, is there anything important that I could grab or? Nope, I still went to a big circle. Wait, now what? I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. can live again but only if you give her the chance I can't reboot her without you I, I think you'll disappear into her become part of her like you used to be yes, Okay, now Minerva agrees. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Oh, she's looking through the mem Aloy's memories. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. 
It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. Uh, so no fake this time? No, this time she's real. Borrow, so? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's Hello. Still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Okay, so we could go to the lab and try to investigate what we need to learn. all this this was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives you could put a good number of people in here or maybe just a few so this was supposed to be you two go ahead up. Um, that was its intended purpose some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override i'll take a look Okay, let's see, I don't have enough resources. Oh, looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Yeah, I mean, if the Apollo hasn't been deleted, the humans could have gone to civilization in a quicker pace or something. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level. I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to come back later. Or... If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. Let's see, I think I already finished exploring this area. Let me just do a check. Oh, I 
I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Yeah. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Yeah, the doors have been open now, so. You have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. Looks like some kind of storage room. Uh, but some of the doors are still locked, so. I'm guessing I have to come back later once uh, once Gaia restores most of our power, so. I'm gonna go back and talk to Gaia now. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Uh, let's see. I want to know about the strangers. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and they, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Yeah, that one. The one in white. She's a clone. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. It didn't? Then where? The calculations are Okay, so what's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. <gasps> the Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Okay, so now that I learned who all those strangers are, now I want to know about the sub-fearless function. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your sub-functions at the Hades Proving Lab, but whatever was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? 
Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. Okay, so I still need to look for three more. It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Okay, so in other words, I'm guessing that Gaia has to stay here while I go search for three more functions. So, what can you tell me about the biosphere? What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay, so then how long do we have if I don't do something about the storm or the real red plants? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Four months, that's not enough time. Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Oh, every bit counts. Okay, then let's get started then. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the far zenith threat 
An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. Ah! The knowledge of that tribe is limited. I guess I have to go fight to them. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. Las Vegas? A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? A strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Hmm... Okay, let's give me a choice, and... The highest level is the middle, which is level 24, and the lowest is Ethos, which is level 17, and I'm level 17, so I'm gonna go do the easiest one first. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> Is that you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. I'm guessing I could exit out through the west door. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zo are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong is doing after the attack. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Whoa, I'm guessing I'm in a new area now. I need to head further west. To, um, 
get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Okay, few episodes ago, I was doing a side mission where I was supposed to go look for that Kaja Huntress. But during my search, I came across this cauldron, but I didn't go in because I was a few levels lower than I was supposed to. But since I'm almost to level 18, I'm guessing I'm a little bit strong enough to, to enter that cauldron and get the new override machine thing. So I'm going to go in, but first... I need to deal with those machines. Hmm, let's see. Oh, they don't list.
Uh, I guess I need to use this. Now. I'm gonna die. Oh no, no machine. Finally. Oh no way, I still still. Okay, I need to go kill it. Looks like I finished off the machines. Now I could go enter that cauldron. Let me just grab some few more stuff. Okay, now I could go enter that cauldron. Oh, there's a camp. What? Well, let me go save before I go into that cauldron. Well, before I continue on by entering the cauldron, I'm gonna go stop and take a break so. Until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.